Forever. And today I'll be reviewing this new Netflix Swedish movie. It's called JJ plus E. And this is kind of like a teen romantic movie it's centered around two teen Elizabeth and John John. And uh, this movie starts with Elizabeth. She's kind of a rich in this movie. And John John, she's he's supposed to be poor in this movie. Uh, and his uh, sub this movie. Well, this movie plot is supposed to be his poor, but we actually never get to see his backstory. Like, is he really poor? Is he sub, uh, like, is he struggling to get stuff? Those things this movie never explain. But somehow this movie want us to believe that he's a poor person and she's a rich person and they kind of fell in love in their first meeting. Did I like this movie? I kind of uh, liked this movie, I will say. Although this movie has very flaws, as I was saying, we never get any good sense of this character, John John, which although I really like this actor, he had this innocent, sweet face. That I, the minute I saw him on screen, I was like, oh, he's so cute, so sweet. Uh, I want him to get everything he wanted. Uh, unfortunately, this movie never focused on his character like deeply. Like, what is his thinking? Although he's like, the, this movie starts with him saving Elizabeth's sister. That scene was quite intense and very interesting the way it showed, uh, it just give us enter uh, the idea about John John, his character, his kind of sweet boy, uh, honest, uh, trying to do uh, right, what is right. But same time, he's hang with all these people. They're like, uh, stealing stuff doing some stuff like illegal stuff around him and he seems to be still hanging with these people although this movie does give us the idea why is he like uh still hanging with those boy because like he was uh, being bullied by the, his mom's boyfriend and that boy actually saves him uh from him so i get the idea why he had this uh good friendship with that boy who is end of this movie he actually died because what the thing he was doing uh, in this movie so my problem in this movie is like i never get sense the idea is he i get uh, that is what director was trying to say but unfortunately story you are telling here this teen romantic uh, you don't give me the idea what is this character stands for that is where i think this movie will fell apart that we don't actually know is he good guy or bad guy uh, end of this movie like the tour at the end we learned that elizabeth he actually she actually learned that he's uh, like involved with these bad boys and they, he uh, like kind of has broken into her home and she sees this video and she's like oh that's really nice and interesting she just goes after him that is like so unrealistic uh in my mind when we're watching it uh then again this movie tried to show you that elizabeth is a little bit edgy type uh even elizabeth character we just we just know that his like her mom died uh that being said i really like i suppose they are uh the, how they met in this movie and all the all the scene in the class interaction between these two characters were really very sweet and charming you like watching them on together on whenever they're in class i thought those scenes were really very well done they had good chemistry that i bought into their uh love uh although i never really thought this movie was actually love in there in love honestly that being said uh those scenes were i thought they really worked for this movie all the scene when john john was like there and confused those scenes didn't work for me in this movie uh still i think it was very well done movie from the direction point of view but the story script point of view is is very vague about all these people here although i really like the location especially elizabeth she lived in a very beautiful home her home had lots such a big scenery uh, like the special sea view she had from her bedroom it was amazing to look at it as i saying uh, elizabeth character she never really tells us like even she finds out about him she's like oh whatever like that's not how real life works so for that sense i would say it didn't work for me i guess overall still i thought it was interesting cute movie then many times it didn't explain the character to us that i didn't thought it was overall enjoyable watch for me anyway that's my thought on this movie let me know in the comment what do you think about this movie and if you enjoyed my review don't forget to subscribe don't forget to leave your comment and please take care